I wanted to talk a little bit about something that uh, <laughs> actually predates the magazine. It predates Mopar Connection magazine. I was still, I was at the time I was good friends with who is now our tech editor, a gentleman named Mike Wilkins, and, and many of you guys know who Mike is, and especially if you've been to the Mopar Nats and ever had a car judged at the Mopar Nats, you'll definitely know Mike. Mike's been uh, the original class. Actually, he's judged a, judged a million classes, but he's really known as the original class and now the OE class judge for the Mopar Nationals. And uh, the guy knows his stuff. He's really, really bright. And we field a lot of restoration and tech questions, uh, just OE level and original level tech questions so that Mike can answer them. So that's something that we're really proud about in working at Mopar Connection Magazine is that Mike is working with us. And of course, you've seen the Comeback CUDA and all the work that he's done on that. Prior to launching Mopar Connection Magazine, Mike and I got called to do a restoration book. The guys at Card Tech reached out and they said, hey, we're, we're really interested in doing a, a B-body restoration guide. And at the time, the original pitch was from 68 to 71 no 73 or 4 and Mike and I petitioned we said no 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 we, we, you, you got dissimilar chassis you, you really want to go back from you want to go to 66 to 70 if we were to do a B body restoration guide that would be a good pocket is from 66 to 70 and so we had to pitch that and they liked that idea um, and Mike and I thought hey listen we're going to make this the definitive B-body restoration guide, except for some really, really, really deep dive uh, specialty cars like the, the wing cars, the aero cars. We thought this would be a really good, super detailed restoration guide. And the deeper we went, we actually got a little bit of pushback. And the, it was funny because they said, oh, it's a restoration guide, it's a restoration guide. But one of the things they had in there was we ha you have to teach people how to hang a quarter panel. And I was like, that, that seems like a really weird request. That, that, you know, especially when we had gotten so much pushback in regards to numbers matching stuff. We were really making an effort to put in so many numbers into how to match up and how to pair match and, and how to verify and and all that kind of stuff. And we were putting all those kinds of numbers in for the for the hardcore numbers crunching guy. And that's when Cartech started pushing back and saying, hey, listen, you know, this isn't a concourse restoration guide. This is to help the Joe Blow get his car running. Okay, no problem. We can dial it back. And then an email follows up. Hey, you need to show them how to hang a quarter panel. I don't think the Joe Blow guy is going to be hanging a quarter panel anytime. And they, they pushed and shoved, and we, we got in this yelling match over hanging quarter panels. Because, quite frankly, we had no access to, to record someone hanging and photograph someone hanging a quarter panel. So we had to reach out to a lot of, uh, a lot of restoration shops and a lot of really uh, high-valued guys in the industry. We, we, we busted our butts on it, and we, it took about a year and a half um, to, to really go deep and to try to get as much as we could and to get so much you know uh, numbers correct and how to verify and how to get stuff correct um, and what we got was about an 80 85 percent restoration guide the rest of it is hey listen if you can't find the numbers matching stuff this works this will get you out the door these are where this is where you can find it and so what we ended up having and i'm i'm holding it up is a copy of uh the b body restoration guide by car tech you know let me actually get my hand out of the way um, and that's Mike there. We, had, <laughs> his road runner is actually a complete car, but, uh, it was funny. was that we, we just had a, a real, I actually really liked the, the original photo shot that we had was I got up on a ladder, probably about 10, 12 feet in the air, got a really good aerial shot of Mike kind of, and he was just putting the air cleaner back on the engine. Um, but, uh, they said, well, that we want something a little more technical. So he says, well, I can pull the bumper off and I can pull the grill off and we can do this. And so we literally disassembled the front of his Roadrunner. <laughs> and uh, we got that Roadrunner apart and he's sitting there pretending to be putting headlights in it. Uh, what's funny about this car, and I don't think a lot of people would notice, is that although it's a 69 Roadrunner convertible, 
he's got a 440 in it. And, uh, you know, obviously 69 Roadrunners did not come with a 444 barrel, but we just kind of, and it's even got the pipes in that says 3D3, you know, three, the 3D3 Roadrunner on there. So anyway, that was something that we, we, we did and we did it together and we were really excited about that. Uh, we got the book in. They were happy with the book. It was part of their restoration how-to guide. And so then we launched Mopar Connection Magazine. And a lot of the tech that we wanted to put in the book, Mike says, hey, now's our chance. Because there was stuff that got edited out. They just said, hey, listen, it's a little too deep dive. It's a little too hardcore restoration. So, hey, no problem. We put it in the magazine. And we started cranking out content that we wanted in the book that ended up in the mag or that we wanted in the book that ended up in the digital magazine. Well, then they start calling back going, Oh, well, Oh man, the, the, I, we are looking at these articles. Why weren't these in, in the book? And we're shaking our heads going, your knuckleheads told us you didn't want it. So anyway, I thought that was really funny. Um, and then we actually repurposed some of the stuff that's in here on the magazine too. Not everything. Obviously we wanted to keep the book being unique and we wanted people to get the book. Uh, um, but Hey, it's a, it's a really neat book and we wanted to kind of, I just kind of wanted to share something that, that Mopar connections, tech editor and myself helped do. Uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of books through card tech. This was a fun partnership that we got to do. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of share that with you guys. Uh,